Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve another question from JAM 2024 chemistry paper, which is based on two reactions. One is ozonolysis followed by aldol reaction. So this is a reactant that is given and the reagents are given. We have to identify the major product. So what is given to us is uh, an alkene. Okay, this is above the plane and this is above the plane. So an alkene is given, what we are doing is, the first step is reaction with ozone, that is ozonolysis and the solvent given is dimethyl sulphide, okay, di because to methyl and sulphide. So this is what, this is a reductive ozonolysis, okay, we will understand why this is called a reductive ozonolysis, okay, so how do you do the ozonolysis reaction? This double bond will break. And we'll add oxygen on both the sides. Here there is hydrogen, here there is hydrogen. So we will get a dialdehyde. Okay, this is above the plane. This is above the plane. Okay, C double bond OH. C double bond OH. So now, uh, why this is called reductive ozonolysis? Because the reaction stops at the aldehyde stage. Now, instead of dimethyl sulfide, if I use something like H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, which is a oxidizing agent, okay, then what will happen is the aldehyde will further get oxidized to form carboxylic acid. Okay, but since here we are using dimethyl sulfide, what will happen? It will be reductive ozonolysis. Okay, reaction will stop at the aldehyde stage. Okay, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is 1, 6 dialdehyde. So, what I can do is, I can do intramolecular aldol reaction. So, what will happen? Base is present. Okay, at the alpha position, this alpha hydrogen is acidic in nature. That will be abstracted by the base to form the enolate first. Okay, what we will get is, this is above the plane, this is above the plane, C double bond OH, this will become enolate. Okay, <coughs> what is the next step? How many membered ring will be formed? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This will come here. This double bond will attack here at the electron deficient carbonyl carbon and this will be open up. What we will get is? A six membered ring this is above the plane, above the plane, five membered ring is formed. So, one, two, three, four, five. First position you can see here we have aldehyde C double bond O H. Then, second, third, fourth, there is nothing. Fifth position it is O minus will become O H. Okay, now what will happen? This is the aldol reaction product this is the final product okay here what we have do, done is we have written the product for aldol reaction but if you see the options there is no such product that is given so what will happen is they have assumed that further reaction takes place that is condensation takes place but the problem is for condensation here along with NaOH heat should be given because without heating loss of water that is condensation cannot take place okay so what they have done, they have assumed that you will assume that you have to do condensation and then the final product after condensation will be this hydrogen, okay. What will happen is this, okay, here at the alpha position this hydrogen is again acidic, what will happen, OH minus, okay, it can abstract this this proton and we will get alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde that is the final product okay c double bond oh here double bond is formed so alpha position carbon next to carbonyl carbon is alpha beta so this is called alpha beta unsaturated ketone that is formed okay we, uh, sorry aldehyde that is formed So, this is the final product that is correct answer is option B alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So, the correct answer should be option B but as I told you that the 
problem is here they have not given heating okay this heating is missing that is the reason why that is the reason what they have done is they have given marks to all if you see the answer k it is marks to all okay if heating was given then the option b is correct heating is missing so they have given marks to all because aldol reaction product is missing okay i hope you have understood the solution thank you